All right, so I just wanted to quickly show you if you wanted to do the puppy dog, I was going to show you. So I'm not going to go into detail. The detail is with the kitty cat if you want to see how to um, create this. But I am going to show you how to draw the little puppy if you'd rather do a puppy instead of a kitty cat. So again, you'll have your paper folded um, hot dog style. Make sure your fold is on the left. And you are going to, now I don't have kitty ears coming up, up at the top, and I want him really as long as I can get him. So I can actually come way up here to do my, um, my little dog head. So what you're going to do is you're going to come across almost to the tippy top. You're going to swing down, and you're going to go to about almost halfway down the page. You're going to come down. You're going to curve like a backward J, and you're just going to come across like that. And then you are going to come to about midway, a little dot, and you're going to do a little puppy, like his body is going to come all the way, and I'm going to touch that point to make sure that I've got his body big enough. I'm actually going to touch that point. And then you are going to cut this out. And you're just going to be real careful when you cut around here, okay? So you got to be very, very careful. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. All right, so when you open him up, you should have something that looks about like this. And I even did the, um, the big C. If you notice, it's the same thing. I did the great big C in the center, and I did a line down. I actually curved this, though. I didn't want it uh, flat. This, this actually made his head a little curvier. And then I was going to show you with his... Uh, his eyes and his mouth. Um, now, your paper is already brown, so I don't need to color brown. All I need to do is do a pupil and trace it in black. Um, if you want to get a white, give him a reflective eye. And then I was going to show you to do his nose. I'm going to flip it upside down and I'm going to do a heart. And I use that line for symmetry because that is directly in the center. So I'm actually putting that heart right there in the center. So this is the way I'm making his nose. If you want to do the kitty nose this way, this way, you can do it as well instead of the triangle. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the kitty, bring a line here, here, and instead of whiskers, I'm just going to do these little dots right in here, right where his little mouth is. All right, and then if you wanted to get a brown, just to add a little more depth with his ears, he wanted to do like some little wavy lines to add some shadows and fur on his ears. You can totally do that. You can do whatever you want. You can give him some little puppy eyebrows. You can do whatever you want. And then for his claws, instead of the white, you want to do black. So we're just going to do black or brown, but you're going to do them just like you did the kitty cat. And then I just wanted to show you real quick in case you wanted to do a 3D present. Do you notice how that's like a three-dimensional present? What you're going to do on your square is you are going to come from here to here and put a big V just like that. You're going to put a line down the center. And then this is where you would make your little bow. However you want to do your little bow. Um, Say I want to do this, and if I want to put stripes on the box, I just need to make sure that they're straight, and if you're going to do it this way, you need to make sure that you come across like that on the box. So anyway, I just wanted to, oh, I don't know if you can see that with the light. Anyway, I just wanted to show you if you wanted to do a uh, 3D present, you're just going to do that. It's almost like you're putting a big Y. And then if you want to trace around the edges with black, you can do that just to make it stand out more. You can do that, or you can just color it, whatever color you want to use to color it. Okay.